Okay, so start the video. That sign has been up there for ages. It's stuck. And uh, let's make sense in a second. Right, so you've seen the start of the video. There's that poster up there. Like my new hat. So it's a random video. I'm waiting for a video to render in the background. Now, I've seen a book the other day. Look at that. It's the same thing. Oh, it's a book. I see. I don't even know where that came from. So, um, I picked up the book. It's meant to be £10. I think I paid £1.40 for it. Brand new. Mental in it. Wow. Hello. Earth to light. In my face. My God. Wow. Anyway, um, I'm going to have a flick through this book. It's one of my book videos. And I don't plan on keeping it. So we stick around at the end of the video, really. So it's been, I've, I've picked it up a couple of times. Mario on the front cover, Pac-Man. Um, can you see me Pac-Man chair in the background? The light is finally, I think about had it's gonna explode or it's, oh. Anyway, so it's got like loads of uh, old school uh, Pac-Man stuff in there, Space Invaders. Good content, there's 174 pages. I'm gonna try and go over this very, very quickly. As I say, I'm just killing the boredom. There's my computer, is rendering in the background as Joe Ott plays away there. So we've got 11. I remember 11 some there. So this is a trip down memory lane. So yeah, I have to remember now, take the Pac-Man chair. Um, so here we are, the Dawn of Computer Gaming shows that, um, that documentary about Atari. That was absolutely brilliant on um, Netflix. Got Space Invaders on there as well. Um, Pac-Man, um, Pac-Man Chair, released in 1984, 1978. That's Space Invaders, oh, sorry. And Pac-Man was released in 1980. I love the episode of Friends. So just a trip down memory lane, this is that documentary about Atari, especially um, the E.T. one. Is it the E.T. one where they dig up the landmine and all that? That is landfield. Imagine that. Oh, yeah, make an E.T. film where they dig up a landfield. You'd be like, oh, hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> where did he come from? Anyway. Uh, beware the kill. So yeah, just my God, man! Come on, this isn't Comedy Central. Come on, the hat. Yeah. So anyway, so what just happened there? So it's just a bit of a pack attack. Kill the strings. The Age of Atari. It's mint that Atari are in here. Ready Player One and stuff. That the King of the Swingers. Jedi, Ready Lady Jedi. There. I love the animation back then. Quids in. There we go. There's the landfield. There. Et comes home. And ends up buried in the desert. Yeah, it's a really good documentary. That was that's awesome. That's a proper awesome find. That Jet Set Willy. Okay, released in nineteen eighty four. Light flashing. Sinclair. 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 Um, tapes. Cassettes. I've actually got a um, Howard the Duck and War Kongs up there. Hello, I don't even know why this light is flickering. It's actually plugged into the mains. Oh god, I remember them man. The hot fucking things you used to put on there. Tommy Tonic 3D. The ZX Spectrum. That's the car? There's the car? From Games Galaxy? Cut to that? Uh, it didn't go on the wall, just like a bike. Oh, yeah. So with this oh, thing. No. Oh, it's got brakes. Hi, I'm back. Yeah, that's me flying around that car. School days. Horns. Lord in the era. Yep. Tapes. Blade Runner. Check that out. Ghostbusters, man. Commodore 64. I used to have a Commodore 64. Just to put a pen in for it. And a cassette, man. A cassette. Jump cut. Jump cut there. Wally Kong. Not called War Kong. So, yeah, this is for the 4KX Spectrum. That out, man. That's it. Check that out, man. You put that in. That's a computer game, man. Now you just digitally download it and stuff like that. No refunds. You'll find the producer loading the program, the Beric Spectrum, Chapter 20, producer loading contact your ear socket. Wow. Anyway. Anyway, just click on it now. So, yeah, how to rewind it. Next up, we've got the Ultimate Player game. Looks like Pitfall Jetpack. I don't really remember any. this. Is just a little bit before my time. I know I had a Commodore 64. Funny story is, I had a Commodore 64 on the big ass television. It was under here and it fell down, smashed all the keyboard, and I had to wait about six weeks to get fixed. Might have landed on my head. Um, loading in piece. Wow, karate, international karate. Um, I know this from a few things Bloodsport. 
blood sport. John Claude Van Damme when he meets Jackson. Is it Jackson? And uh, the fight. The rest of the best. BBC Micro Amstrad Dragon. Games Galaxy man for most of this stuff. The Joy of the Text. The Hobbit. Quest Probe featuring the Hulk. Okay. Nuggets. Pong. I used to have Pong. Doot doot. Yeah, burger time. Jeff. <laughs> wow. 1986 here. The Last Ninja. Classics, 1987. It was a massive jump from the 80s into the 90s to now, you know what I mean? So, crash that wallop. Um, wiggle it until it breaks. It actually says that in the book. Okay. That guy definitely looks like Mario as well. That's definitely Mario. Uh, the awesome 80s, it was a good year. Knight Rider. A Team Thundercats Postman Pat. I think I remember Postman Pat. I used to go around delivering, uh, doom, 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 just going around delivering stuff, and then that was it. I remember the big map and all that things, but yeah, I actually remember that one. Elite. Elite lives on. So it's got a bit about Elite. That was released in 1984, then came back out in 2014. Yeah. Yo, yo ho ho, and a lot of rum. There's a bit of a uh, colour corn. Um, games without glamour. So we've got Mrs. Mop there as well. Paperboy. Do you remember Paperboy? Never owned Paperboy. And um, the sad saga of Willy Wonk. Okay. No idea. Metroid, obviously, big one. Set it bike. These are really old games of pop. Wow. Some uh, old school bits in here, like. They made a game about what? Weedabix. They made a game about Weedabix, wow. Uh, the Muncher. I like to chew it, chew it. That's what that is there. Starring Charlie Chaplin, Sabrina, wow. The Comet game. R Type. It goes into a lot of deal on these. I know you've seen me more on the book, like, but you know. Castlevania, still going strong. Um, the Rebirth, the N6. I've got uh, one of these downstairs. The N64. What's that going there? It's just the Nintendo. So uh, Donkey Kong Mario, everyone loves Mario, man. Um, just an amazing, amazing game. Mario was almost called Mr. Video. Wow. That was Alex a kid. Alex Sharp there, you know. With big ass fist. Outrun. I remember that one. I feel Afterburner. That was amazing in the arcade. Yeah, that's mint. Playing with the power glove, you know, just like you. I was just about to say there, and there it is, the wizard. Excuse me, the wizard's right at the bottom there. That's awesome. Power glove has a memorable cameo in the 1989 movie The Wizard, produced by Nintendo. In the film, three kids go on adventure across America to compete in a gaming tournament. Along they meet pro gamers Lucas Barron, who uses a certain controller. I love the power gun. Christian Sater is actually in that as well. We've got Meet Rob. Rob the Robot. The worst controllers ever. Sega, even that. Laser Scope. Wow. U Force. Namco. Coconuts. Wow. Really? Lost in Translation. Pro Wrestling, Nez. That's got to be trying to be Hulk Hogan there. The Art of Fighting, too. Ghostbusters, Nez. There's some strange in the neighborhood who you're going to call. Apparently not uh, not a professor as compelling the NES game based on the hit movie following up the message congratulations. I don't know. I've lost sight there. It's just a flickering. Lemons and Worms. Um, lemons was mental, man. It was just mental. And worms was even more mental. Yippee! <laughs> the kamikaze one and stuff like that. That was mental. What the hell? Roll up, roll up. Now Dragon Six. Stop flickering. Tom Hanks. Mazes and Monsters. What's that about? Role playing games were so absorbing they started a panic. Yeah. Nineteen eighty two movie about the dangers of robbery called Mazes and Monsters, featuring Baby Hayes, New York, Tom Hanks. Oh, it's a movie. 
What started as a game came a nightmare. Never heard of that. It's actually a movie with Tom Hanks in. I'll have to try and track that down. I remember uh, Corey Haim did one. Double switch or summit. The role playing game. Sorry, it's old Hulk Hogan and Thunder and Paradise, you know. Sim worlds. Oh god, yeah. I just remember trying to build build a sim world, and there's a, a, a button to bring in a Godzilla, just come in and mash everything down. That's all he did it for. Far ahead of its time, you know, stuff like that. And um, now we've got like Simpsons tapped out, you know. Sweet 16 bit Monkey Island. Um, I'm a massive fan of Day of the Tentacles, and I loved it. And I tried finding it, it was gone. I was looking out for it, even you know. And then one day I was playing on the PlayStation, I was on the stores updating Summit, and there it was brand new HD definition. If you've got it, PlayStation, get that game, it's absolutely amazing. Unlike my light source right now, but yeah, Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Rise of the Robots. Oh, that was terrible. Shaq Fu. That's getting a sequel. That is getting a sequel. Calm Again 64. I loved Calm Again for the PC. When it came out, it was like, what they've done here. And um, I got the new edition as well and got rid of it quite quickly. Um, Final Fantasy South Park. What else we got here? Turn to page 92. So we've got Living Stone Pier, Lone Wolf. I've actually seen a Games Master uh, magazine down there. That'll be a future video. Uh, this is something I'm going to try and do as well, like books. Um, but yeah, I've seen a Games Master one. Smitch plays in the background. Broken Sword, Sam and Max hit the road. Quest Space. Ah, oh, sure. Um, I remember um, my friend Dean. He's been gone now for about, I would say, about five years since we lost Dean. And um, I remember just hanging around with him one day, and he's, he's he stepped out. At the time was big in his computer games. And he was like, "Oh, check this out! Check this out!" And this is like PC computer, and I'm saying maybe he's 95ish. And he made us sit for about three hours. He's like, "Oh, it's an expert! It's an expert! It's an expert!" And it was always like a downward shot looking um, effects, downward shot, and like all I remember is just two people having missionary sex. Looking like lemons on steroids, quickly, quickly, and one got up and his penis walked out. And he couldn't stop laughing, and that's just stuck with me ever since. You know, so I miss you, Dean, but that's you know I want them three hours of my life back, waiting for that to happen. Um, so the Hedgehog, right? I've still got this. Um, I'm so proud to complete this when I was younger, because um, you get no saves, no continues. Well, you get a few, couple of continues depending on how well you do. Um, still have it. On Mega Drive, um, it's amazing. We waited and was such a good boy for Sonic 2. By the time Sonic 3 came around, I wasn't too fussed. Always wanted a Mega CD, never got one. Still got me Mega Drive and I still got me NES. Although I don't have any games for me NES. May the Force be with you. A couple of bits about Star Wars there. Never seen Star Wars, I know that gives me a lot of hits. Ready to fight Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Two of the games, obviously. I used to have the Mega Drive, and you know, you used to have to put that code in and wait for the font to change red. You know, how great was it, man? Street Fighter as well. Mario Kart, um, again, loved it. Look at Muppets Race Mania. Um, I haven't beat it, obviously, they've remastered it a few times, but you know, I used to love playing that as well. Oh, here we go. Double Dragon. So I recently did a video. Oh, it's going to break my heart in a second. Uh, Double Dragon, I've recently just done a review of the movie. It's batshit crazy, that movie. Final Fight, I wasn't too in much of Final Fight, but I remember the game they brought out years later where you were running around the back streets and I was like, oh, hang on, this is Final Fight. It was really interesting. And I thought I really enjoyed that game, the Final Fight or whatever it was, and I thought they were going to do something street, Streets of Rage, but they never did. Streets of Rage, still got all three of them up on the top shelf up there. I um, remember getting Streets of Rage 3 in Portugal. You know, I can remember stuff. And obviously when you didn't, kill the kangaroo or fight the kangaroo and then you could have the kangaroo that was just your mind was blown you're a kangaroo and then the kangaroo turned up attacking i was like what the and at the bottom teenage mutant ninja turtles the arcade i used to have the arcade machine when i used to live with my parents and like it was that big um it's long gone now unfortunately wow wrestlemania the ultimate warrior terrifying look there popeye versus aliens that is Popeye fighting the Xenomorph up there. I have no idea what that movie is there, but there we go. 
but by the sale of man. So we got uh, the Royal Rumble down there, great game back in the day. And um, Fire Pro Wrestling and um, played that in New Zealand. I was a massive into um, wrestling games. I've just recently got Fire Pro Wrestling World, loving it. Um, and we've got a weird wrestling game there I don't even recognise. But wrestling games, still love them a bit today. Bomberman. Oh, sensible Soccer. There were so many Sensible Suckers, like Asteroid. That was like the, the school version. We used to have a floppy disk and you want to pass it around when you meant to do some typing and stuff. Someone had Asteroid, that was it. And Bot Pig. It was not called Pop, Bot Pig, but you used to run around and catch a pig. It looked like you were botting it. Okay. Earthworm Jim. Amazing. Um, I recently seen that they're going to bring the soundtrack out of that. Um, again, I loved the first one, but then it just didn't stick. Game on TV. This game's master there. Oh my god, nightmare! That was an amazing game. That I mean, I don't know why they don't redo that now. Teletext as well. Wow, wow. Um, so yeah, you've got like nightmare when they were like the kid would have the helmet on, and everyone he would just be in a room, wouldn't he? And it was just great role playing and stuff like that. But that oh, was awesome. That was awesome. Pokemon, definitely after my time. Even though I still see people walking around going, looking in bins and stuff. Um, sex games get sexy. Could possibly one of the games Dean got us to play. Samantha Fox strip poker. Yeah, leisure suit Larry. I have no idea what's going on there. Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. I love Tomb Raider, and then I love the fact that when you first saw the dinosaur in Tomb Raider, we get yes! Um, and I've just played the last two, Shadow of the Tomb Raider just played. And wow, look at that Game Boy. Used to have a Game Boy, that's mental, that. Crowed and all that. I wonder how long they would last, you know, batteries. Doomed. So here we go, we're coming in the N64 and I can't feel my bloody feet. Anyway, uh, Duke Nukem, I remember that on the thing, you know, playing the first couple of levels and you're just going around and you're throwing strippers. You're throwing strippers, you're throwing money at strippers and there's a secret door there and there's a secret door here and if you go that way and all that kinds of stuff, it was amazing. Quake, remember playing Quake to death. I remember when I got Quake, I bought a second-hand PC, younger. It was already installed as well. Doom, can't go wrong. Never played Wolfenstein. Um, definitely lost a lot of time to Tetris. Resident Evil, um, yeah, when Resident Evil came along, it just shocked everyone. I let Dino Crisis as well, I played Dino Crisis 3, the one in space, it was a bit weird. But Resident Evil, I remember just renting that from the video shop, putting it on, and just like just being glued to it. It's super, super hard. Um, what the fuck? I've still got Die Hard um, Trilogy, that was a good game. What the fuck? Um, Night Trip, these are probably all role-playing game ones. Like I just Wing Commander there, so I just a few Wing Commander was a film as well, and more. Here we go, Killer Gandhi. Wow, longest game in session. Longest forty hours. Shit, the bad man. Error, error. The character Ermac in Mortal Kombat takes his name of Error Marco, which appears in the original arcade game Debugged Menu. Oh, he's also a side, a side for battle, telekinesis ninja. So it's got some fun facts on there as well. Like what the fair and the creepy people standing up in the hill in the Mario games. Gran Turismo. Everyone used to just play Gran Turismo and then hit the replay. You know, and just watch the game. You know, watch the just replay. It's just groundbreaking. And if you had a PlayStation, you used to put that in. And what you used to do was open the disc, open the disc tray, open it up and put whatever song you wanted on. And that song would play on repeat. Then you would have to fucking restart the game like. But yeah. Oh, was that Ridge Racer? Might have been Ridge Racer. Right, so we've got um, pixels and popcorn. So Super Mario Brothers, um, Super Mario Brothers and Double Dragon, I've just recently said in this review, they've got a lot in common. They feel like they're from the same universe in some weird way. Super Mario Brothers, I do things age quite well. Um, I think it was ahead of its time. Everyone was expecting Super Mario. And what they got was a Super Mario, but everyone was expecting a little different. I know there's a lot of controversy and lots of things going on around the film. Like... You know, like, what do you expect when you're trying to ground a film? Double Dragon's batshit crazy. Um, John Claude Van Damme should have been in Mortal Kombat. You know, he should have been Johnny Cage. Um, two, I mean, I've seen both of them films at the pictures. And um, the sequels just sort of went downhill after that. So we've got the arrival of the PlayStation on this one. So underwater levels, glowing, exploding barrels, invisible walls, secret rooms. Crash Bandicoot. That was my impression of Crash Bandicoot. 
Um, don't remember much of them. RPGs all grown up. Diablo and there. I'm sorry, my feet. My feet have gone totally numb here. Rise of the. So it's oh, a beautiful game. More football. Never been a fan of football. Gold nine. How much time? Sit yourself right now. Did you lose playing that game for the challenges and playing that game with your friends? And everyone always wanting to play the complex because they've got the hide. One of the best games ever made. Um, game of the year, 1998, man. Um, going around there, the noise, the music, um, the levels. It's yeah, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So are the wrestling games um, for the N64, like the World Tour. Definitely Revenge, still got that. As well as the WrestleMania and No Mercy. Just amazing wrestling games. Spat the House. Totally rips off uh, Friday the 13th, but I do have that as well, still. Uh, consoles that I couldn't. Got Jaguars and Neo's and Philips CDI. Virtual Insanity. Virtual Boy. The Lawnmower Man. Well ahead of its time. Grand Theft Auto. Um, I played the first one, VR Eyes Only. James Bond, craziness time. I think everyone, every every time there was a game with James Bond after Goldeneye we're like oh my god this is equal and it's a nope it's nowhere near it's nowhere near I'm just looking around here I'm sure sure it gives two seconds yep because everyone was like everyone was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god tomorrow never dies is coming out tomorrow never dies is coming out just think of the video game think that and then you get the video game you're like what the fuck can you take it back nope Totally like gooing that one, didn't I? Anyway, so yeah, Papa Rapper, never a part of that. Worlds Without Frontiers, Driller Killer, Dance Revolution, Snake, did it. <laughs> wow, Nokia phone, Dreamcast. Um, Dreamcast, to me, I had one, I didn't have much love for it. Like Sonic the Hedgehog and all that when he's he's coming at you and you're running away from dolphins. I'm sure there's a good racing game on this. I don't know what was, used to go around the tracks. I just remember going across the thing and a shark would attack you and stuff like that. Um, they had one of the best wrestling games ever on that. Giant Cram, free 2000 or something. It was absolutely amazing. I just remember playing it. And it was always in um, giant, giant, Japanese. So blah, 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 and all you heard is D D D and it was like that just cracked us up. You had people like Vera, Bart Gun, but there was some of the moves on it. But one of the best things that this did, as well as like repeats and all that, and really good graphics for the time, is when you would absolutely hit somebody in the face or you'd work the leg and it would show you like the damage and the it would give you an X-ray like move and just crunch noises and stuff like that. It's the same with the N64. Like anyone remembers when they used to tap out a little bit, oh, and you could hear bones cracking all that. Just something about that kind of sound from that time. It just imprinted into my memory. But yeah, Dreamcast really, uh, oh my God, Siemens in that. That, if you don't know what that is, please check out Angry Gamer Nerd. Um, he did one of the best like reviews for a video game with that. I was just, me and my brother Sam watched it and we were like, what the fuck? So the game's checklist, little scenario, so yeah. So that's a little awesome little book. That, that's really, really cool. Anyway, I'll see you in the outtakes. There you go, there's my Pac-Man chair in the outtakes. I think I've covered everything. Um, I've got stuff lying all over the place here. So my video is still rendering. Right, as I say, I wasn't going to keep this book, so I'm very uh, happy and proud of everyone who like likes, shares the videos, and leaves comments on it. And I know like it's really cool that there's a good group of people watching them straight away. So first come, first serve, first comment on the video, literally. So first comment on this video, I'm just going to write my name in it, sign it. There we go. It's sort of there. Um, if you want it, I'll send you it. Free postage, just gotta be the first one to comment. And probably messages on Lonely Tree on Facebook and like that. My hat's probably glowing different colours up there. But yeah, first come, first serve. Only one.
no terms and conditions there's only one and i'll send you it just like i sent my brother a uh, parcel new zealand today how much to send a parcel new zealand it's it's just a birthday present 19 pound 50. eta two weeks wow i've been steven mason thanks for watching